Hi, everybody. My name is Sherry Hudson Passy, and I'm on the Slick Committee. And I have got a fun person that we are going to be talking to about her course for Slick. This is Deborah Hoffman, and she is teaching the art of writing a research report. This is going to be a great class. She's a fun teacher, and we just want to talk to her for a few minutes about this course to kind of give you an idea of of what the course is about to help you with your choice as you register for your next slig course that you want to take. So hi, Deborah. So good to have you here. Thanks, Sherry. I'm delighted to be here and to talk about this course. This course was actually designed initially by Angela Packer McGee. Yes. Um, and but when before COVID, and um, I was excited to be able to take it over. We have changed it up since she uh, mm -hmm. initially coordinated it because the course was initially part of SLIG's professional track. Yeah. And so it was the art of writing a client report. And mm -hmm. so it was more specifically geared towards professionalists. But now um, we have expanded it and it's a, the art of writing a research report yes. because both professionals and just genealogists in general need to know how to write a right. research report. Yeah, we need to write them for ourselves. Even if we're, you know, if we're not doing it for a client, we need to write them for ourselves, for our own families. So Absolutely. I think I think this is fabulous. So just give us a brief overview of the course. What what can people expect if they sign up to take this course? So the, what they can expect is it's going to be not only um, lectures, but also hands-on activities as well. We give people time to, part of the what the goal is, is to, um, they don't have to have a research re report written before they take the course, but hopefully by the end of the course, they'll have an idea of how they want to, like what standards inform writing a research report and what things should be included for best mm -hmm. practices. And then to be able to look at a myriad of examples and also the instructors that we have will go over different aspects of the research report. So by the end, they will have a good idea of how they wanna craft research reports for the projects that they do and for the style that they like. So right. that's what the, the goal is to give them, you know, a week, uh, you know, a week's worth of of information, examples, mm -hmm. and, you know, questions answered. We have some consultations built in so people can ask oh, questions nice. and see how they, yeah. And that, that's really nice. So you can, cause there's no, you know, people get, I think like with citations, they get really <laughs> um, afraid that they're not doing it perfect. Yeah. And it, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's meant to be a, a report that will capture the results of a block of research. Mm -hmm. So it, it should have some, you know, defined characteristics that should be in every report, but it's also meant that you can go back and look at it time and again. So you can see, oh, did I do land research? And as you know, when we're doing research, we don't get to do it all at once. So That's six right. months later, you might pick it up again and you're going to be like, what did I do six months ago? I don't remember. <laughs> exactly. So this will help you get right back on target and you can start researching again without right. missing a beat. Exactly. Now, um, the course is for everybody then it's, you don't have it to, is. it's yeah. for, right. It's for, and, and, and even, even I, we, we typically say like SLIG Institute courses are for at least, you know, intermediates, but I would say even a beginner would benefit from taking I this agree. course. Starting because, off the correct way. Yes. Exactly. That's yeah. what I would say. Starting Learning off the correct way. From the beginning is so, so important. So I agree. I agree. Even beginners can take this course. Absolutely. Yeah, Cause we don't, we don't want to duplicate research. Right. right. If you spend, you know, a block of time researching land records and you don't document it and then you're going to go, did I, did I look at that? Exactly. Did I'm, I look guilty. There? I'm guilty. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that before are. too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes, there's we no don't have time to do that. No, we don't. So there's no prerequisites then. For no, no prerequisites. Somebody who wants to learn. Yes. Somebody who wants to learn and who wants to, you know, walk away with a good, um, you know, uh, practice for right. doing research reports for their research. It's not a family narrative. And that's what, you yeah. know, we always, it's not that it, this is where you are capturing how mm -hmm. you're doing research and what you're looking at. And, you know, even sometimes the names, like the surname variations, if you don't capture that, yes. you don't remember, did I look for that surname in that, right. you know, that research and you might miss something. So you'll right. know if you go back, you can say, oh, I didn't check for that name. I need to go back and do that research do again. Right. So who, who is, uh, working with you with this course, who are your, your other instructors? So I have a great lineup of instructors. I'm so blessed to have all these people working with me. And Angela is still part of this course and she shares her expertise in what makes an effective report and how to present information um, from documents into a research report. 
I've got Tom Jones with three sessions. He does two on documentation um, and, you know, shares his expertise with that and also uh, technical writing. So if you've ever worked with Tom before, you know <laughs> that even if you think it's clear and concise, it can be clearer and more concise. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so true. whittle it down. Uh, he, he can. Absolutely. He is. We have Karen Stanberry, who's going to be uh, presenting on how to incorporate DNA evidence into a research report. Nancy Peters uh, talks about complex problems and how to capture mm -hmm. that effectively. Uh, Kathy Damaris is covering forensic oh. genealogy reports yeah. and affidavits. And then I have Carrie Taplin and Paul Woodbury wow. who share a <laughs> session on their, you know, what you can expect if you're doing research reports for a company. So oh, they talk about good. their experience with ancestry pro genealogists and the legacy tree genealogists which yeah, I think is really interesting because, yeah. you know, when you do things for yourself, you can mm -hmm. do it a little differently because, right. you know, it's for yourself. But right. when you see how companies, right, because mm -hmm. companies even be, mm -hmm. want to be more efficient yes. and effective. Yes. Then I have Diana Elder, who is um, doing um, editing, who's, who's talking about editing. And, mm. and she also shares her experience working with um, the Airtable, you know, right. in, okay. in, in her thing. So. Mm -hmm talks about that. And then I did change it up a little bit this year. We have um, Eva Holmes for the first time. And we've had requests in the past for Microsoft, you know, hacks. Like, oh, what can I, how do I, yeah, tips nice. for Microsoft Word. Um, and she helped me out um, when uh, she showed me how to do like the narrative, how you use the like um, uh, the table of contents, yes. you know, and how you can do things. So you can just like skip down to the part of the report because, you know, some of these reports can get pretty long. Really long. Researching. Yes. 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 Wow. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to have all of these wonderful Great instructors. Team. It's like, it's like the dream team of learning how to yeah. write a research report. <laughs> you couldn't ask for that. Yeah. And they're also, they have, some are certified, some are accredited, mm -hmm. you know, some are professional, some, you know, don't take clients anymore. Yes. And so it's not, it's meant to be, we, it's tried, we tried to make it, you know, um, as broad and yeah, very you know, well as rounded. informative. Yes. 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 So that people will walk away with a really good foundation in writing a research report. What a wonderful, wonderful course. Now, this one is being held in the springs, right? Right. Spring. Right. So it'll be spread out so that you can learn you'll have um, a different time during the week and so it's not back to back and you, I like that way right. of learning so that it's not so so stressful you know where you've got to get all this homework done now you'll have homework right because you want people yes. to learn right how to yes we have home we have hands-on exercises during the course we also have homework for them to work on and you know they can they can you know even if they didn't want to do maybe the the exercise that we're giving them they can use their own personal yes. uh, research to yes. do whatever part of it that they want so that's the nice thing I think they you know you come out of this with a product and oh, something and, and something that you can use and that you can you know use for your future research which I think is really beneficial sounds like a fabulous course is there anything else that we didn't touch on that you would like to say about the class yeah, you know, one thing I'd like to note is one of the best one of the best aspects that I found when I took this course when it first came out and that we've kept throughout the whole time is that we have gotten permission from some really great genealogists to share professional reports with the students during the, the time mm -hmm. that we're in class mm -hmm. um, over that whole five week period. Mm -hmm. And it's just really nice because they can study these reports. Yeah. They can't copy them or, right. you know, do anything like that or, you know, you take, you know, the information from them, right. but they can use them as examples for how to like structure, maybe they like the table and how someone did mm -hmm. the table in this mm -hmm. or how they captured the information and conveyed that information. And they have the entire time to look at these, to study these, to take yes. notes, to, you know, and to use it to build what they like in a research report and what they want to include. So I really think that that helps, you know, really mm -hmm. solidify um, not only what is covered during the course, but also seeing maybe things that aren't covered during the course, because of course you can't cover everything. <laughs> and some of the, and some of these uh, reports are, you know, pretty long and intricate. So you can see yes. how people deal with, how do they structure them? What do right. they include? So I think I know, that's one of the, those types. Me, one of the best. Yeah, you know. I, I agree with you. I know those types of things help me when I'm taking a course because I'm very visual Mm -hmm. And so sometimes, you know, you've got the syllabus and you can read about it, then you can hear about it. But when I see it put together, it's like a little light bulb goes off and everything then flows and I understand what I'm being taught. And so, right. yeah, so I really appreciate courses that will put these examples up for people to be able to see. So 
that in of itself sometimes is well worth the admission. <laughs> yes. And I think too, it shows people that you don't have to, there's not run, there's not one right, right way. You can see how different yes. people do it. And maybe one way resonates with you more yes. or, or is more in keeping with your style of how you do something. And you can go, oh, I really like that. Yeah, exactly. You know, you don't, you don't. And I, I see that when I just look at NGSQ, you know, yes. journals and things. I look at mm -hmm. journals just for to see how did they do that? How did they put yes. that together? Or, you yeah. know, um, how do they cover that? Exactly. So. What, what a great course. This is going to be really good. And people are going to come out of this with really, I think, confidence to be able to, to write their research reports. If you've been doing it for years, it's some ideas to help you maybe even get a little bit better to, to hone those skills a little bit more. If you've never written a research report, it'll help you figure out how to get started. So this right. is a really great, great course. So I encourage people to look into it and then sign up and take it and, and learn from all those wonderful people that are going to be joining Deborah in this course. And um, to get more information about SLIG courses, just go to the SLIG webpage and look at registration. This registration is already open for this course. And so I encourage you to, if you haven't registered yet, to get in there and go register and learn about writing a research report. Deborah, thank you so much for coming and talking to me about this course. I wish you luck. Thank you. It's gonna fabulous. It's going to be fabulous. I'm jealous of all the people who will take it. So thank you. yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody in the spring. I think it'll be a great, a great time. It so. will be. It will be. Well, thank you so much. And we will see you next time for another uh, interview about our wonderful um, offerings we have at SLEG. So thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next time with another interview. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.